folks and welcome what a fabulous day middle of february the sun is out i'm out in my kayak i'm hoping to paddle six kilometers into the city of norwich i'm setting off from thorpe st andrew and i'm rooting up the river yeah so the entire distance will be 12 kilometers there and back and i want to show you the wonderful city of norwich and what you can expect if you decide to come out in your canoe or kayak and paddle into the fine city. Bells have just struck 12, it's noon. It's in the middle of February, but you would think it was a summer's day. It's coming up to the brush cutters. That is a really nice pub. This is a trip that I've been wanting to do for ages and today I've got the opportunity. Really looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll point out some of the features, landmarks and things that you might see during your trip into Norwich. On the left hand bank over there is Whitlingham Lake and there's a sports centre, a place where you can go and experience water sports or go open water swimming. Uh, this is a touring stoke sea kayak. Um, it's got storage ports so I can go um, camping with it. But um, there's limited sort of places where you can put kit once you're in your canoe. So it's a pretty good idea to invest in one of these top deck bags. It's a, a roll top waterproof bag. This particular one's made by Lumo. Obviously there's loads of different ones on the market. But what I like about this one are the two side mesh pockets so that you can store your flask or sandwiches or recharger or phone or whatever. I think that this is a pretty good one bag is secured to the kayak with these four clip-on points. So there we are, my top deck bag. This is from Norwich down towards London. The Trouse Swing Bridge. This part of the River Yare used to be very important to Norwich. This is where a lot of the goods used to come in by wherry and boat. So it's quite an important dock land if you like. A lot of this area has been regenerated over the last few years 
on the right hand side you can see all the new blocks of flats that were built in the last 10 to 15 years. The old medieval city of Norwich used to be surrounded by a fortified wall. It's made of flint and we're just coming up to a part that still remains, one of the old towers. So this is the, really the edge of the city. The sign says, welcome to Norwich, a fine city. to Norwich Centre. A couple of things to point out. On the right hand side is the main railway station known as Thorpe Station and on the left is the Nelson Hotel Premier Inn and they do a cracking cooked breakfast. Road. The Complete Angler, really good pub. Coming up to an area called Paul's Ferry. This is a location of an ancient ferry line that used to go across here. Paul's Ferry used to cross from the right hand side, the Riverside Road, over to the left, which is the entry to the cathedral and the Norwich High School. I believe the riverbank there in late Tudor times was used for dunking witches. about being in a manpower craft is you can go beyond Bishop Gates Bridge. All the high craft have got to stop there. Red Line is another lovely little old pub there. You can get a decent menu, nice place to stop off and get a drink. Tower. You can just see the spire now of the cathedral. And on 
the left is the car park for one of the oldest pubs in the country, certainly in Norwich. It's the Adam and Eve. the City College Art Centre and on the right we've got the Playhouse Theatre. We're really getting into the city now, not far to go, only a few more hundred metres around the next bend and then uh, we come up to the end of the navigable part of the river. So as I said earlier on this entire trip is about six kilometres I'm doing four kilometers per hour, so hour and a half, and I'm into the city. And um, I'm gonna basically go back the same route, but I will just show you a little bit of a deviation around the Thorpe Island. Um, oh, look at this old bridge, 1804. the waterworks which is the midpoint of this trip is the destination before turning around and going back turnaround point I'll show you a different route back into Thorpe St Andrew. If I continue down the river yeah I end up leaving the city and heading out into the broads but if I turn left here under the rail bridge I'll loop back to the beginning because that's actually a little island.
that's it folks, that's the end. I've done 12 and a half kilometers round trip back at the beginning here at Thorpe St Andrew. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching and until the next time, happy paddling.